Hello, my name is Sarah Schneider, and I serve as the mobility manager for Valley Transit. What is a mobility manager, you ask? That's a great question, and a very common one. The short answer is, I coordinate transportation for anyone who needs it, and I do my absolute best to eliminate any barriers that prohibit people from accessing the best transportation option available to them. My goal, and Valley Transit's mission, is to connect the Fox cities by getting you where you need to go. Most people, when they hear Valley Transit, think about our fixed route buses, which is great. It's pretty hard to miss those large Valley Transit buses traveling throughout our community. The truth is our buses are the most reliable, consistent, and inexpensive forms of transportation that there is. So it is wise to take the bus if it is available to you. It truly is your best first option when it comes to choosing transportation. But what if you don't live or work right on the bus route? Valley Transit offers supplemental transportation options, and one of those options is called VT Connector. But before I jump in to tell you how VT Connector works and the different ways you can use it, please note that transportation is very different for every single person, not only for each rider, but each and every trip. If you think VT Connector could be a transportation solution for you, call VT Connector and discuss your specific needs. The first thing I do need to emphasize is that the primary goal of VT Connector is to get you to the bus route. Remember, it is our most reliable, convenient, and inexpensive form of transportation. But VT Connector's secondary goal is to take you where you need to go and when and where there is no bus route. So I do think it's worth repeating that the primary goal of VT Connector is to get you to the bus route. And there are six, what we call transfer points, that are strategically located throughout the Fox cities. If you work or live more than three tenths of a mile from a bus route, VT Connector will pick you up from your starting point and take you to the nearest transfer point. And then you can use the bus to complete your trip. But what if you live on the bus route, but you have to get to your job, which is not on the bus route? Then VT Connector works in reverse. In this scenario, you would ride the bus to the transfer point nearest your destination, in this case, work. Then VT Connector will pick you up from that transfer point and finish your trip by getting you to work. However, in some cases, you may need both. In other words, you don't live on or near the bus route or on or near your job. Therefore, you can take VT Connector directly from your home to work directly. But there is a caveat. VT Connector does have geographical boundaries. You can see from this map that the northern boundary is Edgewood Drive or County Road JJ. The southern boundary is Highway 10 on the east side of Lake Winnebago. And Highway G is the west side of Lake Winnebago. Western border is Highway 76 Eastern boundary is Harwood Road. So if your starting point and ending point are within this area, we call this our extended service area and VT Connector is a great transportation option for you. I do have a question for you. What if you need to get to work early in the morning, let's say 5 a.m., or you need to get to or from work late at night, like 10 p.m.? Did you say VT Connector? You're right. VT Connector is available from 4 a.m. to midnight, Monday through Saturday. We call this the extended service hours. Since there is no bus route operating that early or that late, when you need a ride, when the bus is not an option, VT Connector will transport you, either to or from work. Pretty cool, huh? So now that you know where and when to use VT Connector, let's talk about how it works. First of all, drivers only accept exact cash or you can purchase pre-purchase VT Connector tickets. You should order your tickets either by mail or come to the Valley Transit Administrative Offices located at 801 South Whitman Avenue in Appleton. We do require a two hour minimum notice for each ride that you schedule. But if you do plan to use the service regularly and consistently, you can actually set up multiple rides up to 14 days in advance. Lastly, to be respectful to other riders, the drivers, and those who make your appointments in the scheduling system, should you need to cancel, make sure you give at least a one hour notice. And one thing to note, three late cancellations 
or no-shows within a three-month period could result in suspension of service. So if you do have a change, call VT Connector as soon as possible. One thing most people do not realize when they first hear about VT Connector is that it is still considered public transportation, which means it operates similarly to a fixed route bus. What does this mean? Well, just like a bus, you, there will be passengers riding with you. Public transportation is not a privatized, individualized service. People will get on or off the bus beginning or ending their trip at various intervals throughout their trip. So you may have someone getting picked up after you get dropped off or even people getting off the, before, before you do. Riders are unassisted. In other words, you won't see a bus driver helping someone load groceries, escort them to their door, carry their luggage. So VT Connector doesn't do this either. Another point, VT Connector is a curb to curb service, just like the buses. Similarly to my previous point that riders are unassisted, other passengers cannot be unattended in the vehicle either. So be ready when your ride arrives so you can exit properly, promptly when you get to your destination. Travel times would also be considered comparable to the bus. Unlike a direct ride, you should account for the additional stops that VT Connector may need to make between the time you get picked up and the time that you get dropped off, which they will cover with you when you make a reservation. Lastly, buses are on such a tight schedule that even a small delay can cause a major service disruption. Do your part to keep everyone on schedule and be ready during the entire pickup window that you are given when you schedule. Drivers can only afford to wait five minutes and then they must continue on to their next pickup. Yes, it is possible to miss your ride if you're not ready and waiting. So by doing your part, we can keep the system operating smoothly and everyone gets to where they need to go on time. Since VT Connector is a shared ride service, it helps keep costs low. So let's talk about what VT connectors, connector costs. If you need to get to the bus route when the bus is in service, it's $4 per trip. If you need to get from the bus route to let's say work, then it's also $4 per trip. But if you need a ride where there is no bus service to connect to, it's $6, which means VT connector will take you from your pickup location to your drop off point for only $6 unassisted. Now, if you are that person who does not live or work on the bus route or who lives outside of the VT Connector extended service area, don't be discouraged. Part of my role is helping people get beyond boundaries and barriers and knowing all transportation options that do exist. We don't want anyone to be without transportation. So call me, I'm your mobility manager. Another great resource for you to know about Valley Transit also offers complimentary travel training on our fixed route buses. If you are new to riding the bus and are unsure as to where you would even start, call Stephanie, our travel training specialist. Stephanie will help you plan your trip, learn which routes you would use, how to use Valley Transit's app, buy and pay your fare, and everything else that you would need to be successful, independent, and confident. So thank you for taking the time to learn more about Valley Transit, VT Connector, the role I play to help our community with mobility management and our specialized travel training services. If you have any questions about anything that you've heard, please give us a call.